I'm Christina from Book and Dreams, and I finished my owls! Yay! I have become a magizoologist. I am so happy and proud, and my dog is eating my books. So we're just gonna put them here. Sorry if this tin kind of wobbles. Okay, it did wobble a bit. Okay, so let's just wrap this up. Uh, I chose the career of magizoologist. I had four prompts to do. I had, so let's see, care of magical creatures, charms, herbology, and potions. For care of magical creatures, I had to read a book with a creature uh, with a beak on the cover. And there, that's somewhere over there. Okay, it's the last book, of course. I didn't prepare for this, sorry. So, I read Call Down the Hog by Maggie Stevewater. I like this book. I think it was a solid introduction into the Dreamer trilogy. Uh, it got me kind of lost at the beginning, like in the first third of the book, because it's just kind of... It, this I'm talking about Ronan. It introduced two new characters that... They didn't really, it, they weren't really well explained what they were doing, but as you went through the book, you kind of got what was happening, and there was a really good, like, ending that didn't leave you on a real cliffhanger, but it really left you wanting really, really a lot more. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading uh, the next installment in the series, and I also have a vlog of this, uh, so I will put uh, probably link up here, and you will have the link down below, so you can check it out if you want, and yeah, I really like this one. Then we have, for charms, Lumos Maxima, a uh, book with a white cover. Oh god, I really didn't plan this through. Okay, so this is One Day in December by Joseph Silver. And I must say, this was so, 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 so surprising for me. I love this book. I love this book. I gave it five stars. I thought I would hate it because it has one of the tropes that I really don't like. And that is kind of... The main character's love interest is her best friend's boyfriend. And I just kind of... I'm really not into that, not even in, like, a non-fictional sense, in a fictional sense. So, like, yeah, but I loved it. I loved how the characters were developed. I loved their uh, relationship. I loved, how, I loved how Lori was very conscious of her friend and, like, her... I, I totally understood her problems and her dilemmas and everything and like I just love this book I don't know if it came at the right time when I was really in a slump and I needed just something to pick me up but this was such an awesome book and I really loved it yeah then we have herbology and that is Mimbulus Mimbletonia title starts with an uh, I am M M I read Monster Island by David Wellington. So, what to say about this book? I'm not sure. So, I didn't actually rate it because, I don't know, it just kind of, it was just such an okay book. I think I was in a slump. I had so much trouble reading it. I just couldn't pass, like, the 100 mark page, like... It was, like, so crazy. I don't know what happened there. But, so, uh, Monster Island is based... Bas we basically follow... Uh, oh, my God. What's his name? Dekulp, who was, like, a former um, UN officer and who goes to New York to get some uh, medical supplies for this uh, Somali uh, queen w uh, who is keeping his daughter safe. And there he meets he meets Gary, uh, who is a former doctor, kind of turned zombie-ish, I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot of zombies around the world, and only the some countries survived and some people, and we are kind of following the cult on this path in New York and trying to get uh, these drugs. However, I found Dekulp to be so, so, so annoying. Like, even at the beginning, he is portrayed, and that got me so, like, oh, I couldn't handle it. He he was so portrayed as, like, like, everything was portrayed as if, like, 
Ah, I don't know how to explain. Basically, you have uh, like 12, 15 women soldiers and like their captain dies and then kind of Dekalb is put in charge because that's obvious because like he's a man, he is the most senior one. But the important thing, they, like, they kind of stressed that he was a man. So obviously, not these soldiers who were trained for these kind of situations, even, they're, even though they're very young. But like, what? Why? Like, I, oh, I, I just, I, it, it just frustrated me to no end. And there was like this point where one of the girls was looking at like window shop, uh, like shops and the windows. And there were, there were garments in there. And he thought like, of course, she's from Africa. What would she know about fashion? And she's always in a uniform. So, of course, she's going to side, be sidetracked from, like, the fact that she has to protect people from zombies because she, you know, like, is a woman and she misses the garment. Like, what the, 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 the? like, I hated that. Oh, my gosh, I'm so ranting about this. But, but I hated that. And there were, like, these two things just really annoyed me. And the ending was so freaking predictable. It, like... It kind of lives on a cliffhanger, but you know what a cliffhanger is. Like, you don't need to read the next book to know what happens. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's what... That I don't know. I just... I don't know what I read. <laughs> okay. Finally, <laughs> for potions, uh, the prompt was Shrinking Solutions. B read a book under 150 pages. And I read All Systems Read by Martha Wells. This is the... First uh, book in the Murder Bar Diaries, I really, really liked it. It was very interesting. Uh, it's a really fun book to read if you're into like sci-fi and you want just some funny, uh, funny. Uh, is she an AI? Android? Android? Like she, she's basically she. She is she, she and it. I think it's an it. Well, basically, Murder Bot. Uh, loves binging on si on sites like Netflix and like that and loves TV shows and it just doesn't want to do anything and it hates, uh, you know, like doing stuff but it ends up like helping and everything like it was just, I don't know, I just really like, I don't know how to explain this is a really bad video but like I'm leaving it like this because this is how I'm feeling right now and yeah, the All Systems Red book was awesome. I will definitely be continuing. Uh, like uh, Maya also read it, so she'll maybe mention it in her wrap up, but like she'll probably say better stuff than I did. I also read, just a side note, Recursion and Gideon the Ninth. We have reviews of both of that on our channel. I will put the links up here and down below. And that is it. Um, comment down below if you read any of these books how did your owls go um please like share subscribe press the bell button if you want to get notifications whenever we post videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you in our next one bye